to Moore. So Bulldogs get the successful penalty kill. It's now four on four. Andrew LeBlanc charges, scores! Bulldogs were trying to get things sorted out. It was Jake O'Brien who stepped back as a defender. And Andrew LeBlanc was able to turn to the front of the net and backhanded in. Bulldogs will take a point for the battalion, get the second. As the faceoff is controlled now by the Otters, who dumped the puck in right wing corner. Picked up by Alfano, left it back for Spence, who scores. Malcolm Spence snaps it top shelf over to A's shoulder, didn't seem to see it. And with 6.45 to go on the first, Erie takes an early lead, it's one to nothing. So off the one faceoff there, they shoot it wide. Goes behind the Ottawa goal, back to the point. Wakeley goes rink wide for Weigel. Down low, Stewart back out in front, they score! Dallin Wakeley gives the Barry Colts a 1-0 lead just 35 seconds into that first power play. Yeah, that's a tough one too because that's a mental mistake. And dump back into the Sarnia zone, cross ice pass. Up the middle, one on one against Nate Kronchuk and slams it home. Makes it 5-1 as Kostic did a good job of putting the brakes on and then coming back the other way. Carter Kostic, that was a filthy goal. The brakes, the deke, the finish. Then comes back. Here's Cowan. And across the line, being pestered there by Epperson. He's played well tonight for the Saginaw Spirit. Will Weaver's way to the line, now beats another man. Here's Epperson shooting. He scores on a highlight wheel goal. Well, Epperson on the power play, gains speed through the neutral zone. He gets Jacob Julian to bite on that play right there on the stick check. He goes five hole on Medvedev.